morning, fam. I'm so fucking. Good morning, fam. I am currently leaving Greenville. It is 7 a.m. Headed back to Rawls because I have work this morning. Let me turn this off. It's probably so loud. But I went ahead and did my makeup. Sorry if you're like being thrown around right now. You're about to be really thrown around. These are train tracks. Yee. Turn left onto West 5th Street. So much just happened. I have work at 10. So I'll get back with a little bit of time to get dressed and get ready for my work day. Honestly, I forget what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Sometimes I go over to my boss's house and we do work for producing. And other times I actually teach voice lessons to some kiddos. I'm not sure if I have a lesson today or not, essentially, because my boss's house is in Cary and mine is in Raleigh. And so if I have a voice lesson, then like I'm I'm going home. But they're like 25, 30 minutes away from each other. That is my plan. Turn I'm... left onto South Memorial Drive. Thank you, Siri. Also, yeah, embarrassing fact, I went to ECU for four years and now call all the time because of Grant and still need my GPS to get home. It's fine, I'm directionally challenged and I know that about myself and I accept that, so it's fine. So I'm gonna drive home. I will catch up with you guys in the hashtag 919, which is Raleigh, if you're not from here. <laughs> Probably. I just got home, so I'm gonna get ready for work. Oh, hi, Toby. Hi. Adorable. Precious. I already did my makeup. I just have to do my hair, and I have to put on some work appropriate clothing because as much as I love my teddy jacket, I don't think the office will. <laughs> and then we'll grab my coffee and be on the way. We are ready for work. Let me show you the fit. Yes. It's a classic. I love these pants because they have a little leather stripe. Um, yeah, these are not the shoes I'm gonna wear to work, but my shoes I left in the car, so I'm gonna wear my slippers outside. But actually, I got ready so fast and I don't have to leave for another half hour, so like, coffee, YouTube. Oh, I should edit. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be productive. I left my computer in the car. It's going well, good morning. Good morning, yay, yay. <laughs> Surprisingly on time today. I am leaving for work. Drive on over to Carrie. <laughs> Guys, I just got off work and it is raining. I'm in heels. I have a leather purse. These are all things that should not be getting wet. So that was tragic. So now I'm gonna fight through the rain to get home. I'm not gonna lie, I might skip the gym. I might I might just, just say no today. This is a little bit wild and this is the weather where I just wanna watch TV and J chill. So that might be the dealio this evening. It's raining so hard right now, <laughs> like. Okay, I'm going home. I'm so tired. I wanna force myself to eat because I feel like I should. I don't know, I think that early morning drive just really took a toll on me. <laughs> so I didn't go to the gym today, which I think was a good decision for my mental health. But I am gonna wake up early tomorrow morning and go. But yeah, I'm just feeling so unmotivated and so lazy and sleepy and bleh. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Well, I look just beautiful. I am feeling a lot better than I was about an hour ago. <laughs> I ate dinner and you know when you're feeling just like so terrible and then you eat and you're like your second wind hits you because now you have energy. That's literally what just happened to me and then on top of that I took a shower so now I feel clean because like I'm not gonna lie. It had been a minute. I'm doing literally nothing exciting for the rest of the night. I'm gonna edit and then I'm gonna go to bed and so I'm just gonna put the camera, I'm gonna put the phone away for the night and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning when I go to the gym at 
the crackadon. Don. Good morning from my freezing, freezing cold car. Just giving it a minute to warm up. I should just go inside and wait. I'm already here, you know. It is 7.06. I'm getting kind of a late start today. I don't know. I feel like I haven't been as on it this week. We will turn that around tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna train some legs and I'm gonna bring my camera but like I don't know I just get so self-conscious about like filming in the public. I'm also like afraid that someone's gonna walk up to me and be like hey can you not have me on film like if they're in the background but like we're all being filmed all the time by the government so like what's the difference you know. This is definitely not fitness related but have you guys watched the Firefest documentary? It's called Fire Fraud. And there's actually two of them, but I've only seen the Hulu one. Hashtag the talk of the town. If you haven't seen it, you should. And if you have, let me know what you thought, because I was a little bit shook. I spent like the first, you can ask Grant, we watched it together, and I literally spent like the first 45 minutes being like, I don't think he's that bad of a guy. I think he just was like messed up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think he intended for all of these terrible things to happen. They start unfolding some things, and you're like, all right. It is gym time. Also, before we go, I have a terrible zit. It's gonna be here the whole time, so like, get used to it. Now I'm gonna go to the gym. <laughs> Guys, there was no one. I think like I see five people and they're all in cardio machines and there was one person in the weight room with me. I think we were all just like collectively unmotivated today. <laughs> I was just feeling so tired and I just did not want to work out, but I made myself go to the gym, push yourself, all good things. Saved your life. There was like nobody in my gym and honestly, I was not feeling soups motivated today so not my best workout I got there late later than usual so I was really only there for a half hour I woke up and I was already feeling unmotivated and I was like I want to train legs so which is weird right isn't that bizarre I've been kind of enjoying my leg workouts recently I think it's because now I like have more muscles so I can actually do it <laughs> and feel my muscles working and like see definition in my quads, which is insane, never had that before. That is what makes the gym kind of addictive is because like it's always hard at first, it's difficult to get started, you have to work towards it. But then when you start seeing results, it's exciting and it's fun and you wanna keep doing it. Goodbye, sir. Do you guys ever do that? If there's somebody who pulls up like directly next to you, if I looked over, I'd make eye contact. Do you ever just scoot away? Yeah, even on days when you're feeling unmotivated, like me, hashtag today, it's okay. I am proud of myself for going to the gym in the first place. I'm not angry at myself for not doing the best workout that I could have possibly done today. I am very, very proud of myself for making it to the gym and putting as much effort as I think I could stomach this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna drive home and make a smoothie because I am so starving and then get ready for work another day another dollar <laughs> Hello. I got
got ready for work, drank my smoothie. Let me show you my outfit. We're gonna flip the camera. Yeah, so this is the fit for today. These boots that I always wear. Guys, these shoes were literally $15 from Target. Gingham pants, I think that's what it's called, Gingham. Yeah, it's like that pattern. A black v-neck shirt, and then this navy blue cardigan from Madewell, and it actually has like leather patches on the back. Yeah, so that's the fit. I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna make some coffee, drive on over to work. I think today is the day that I'm gonna go over to my boss's house and work later. So once I leave here, I probably won't catch up with you guys until tonight. Oh but also. So Gymshark just restocked their camo leggings and I was so sad because I didn't think that I was gonna get a pair of the camo leggings because they were sold out, but then they restocked and I ordered a green pair and they are on their way. So when they get here, I will do a little try on and tell you guys what I think. I also think I need a necklace with this. I'm gonna go. I will catch up with you guys tonight. Just, just crawling into bed here. Not that late. It is almost nine o'clock. It is 8.55 on this lovely Wednesday. I just got back from working. A pretty accomplished day, pretty successful. But I will say that I work in a desk. I work at the front desk for a majority of the day. So I have very little human interaction during the day. Man, I'm not gonna lie. It can be really draining sometimes. I just find myself getting in these funks where I just get really, really lonely. And I think a big part of it is just because I am legitimately not interacting with people during the day. I definitely had a bit of a down bump today for like a few hours because I was just feeling a little sad and missing my friends a lot. I think that's just part of post-grad life. There's a lot of parts in it that are just really lonely. I'm constantly trying to remind myself that I am in charge of my own emotions. I'm in charge of my own happiness. I decide how I react to things and how things make me feel, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of days where it gets hard. I will say I am a lot happier here than I was in Florida, which is good because that makes my heart happy. I feel like I made the right decision by moving home, but there is definitely another part of me that is ready for the next adventure. And I know that I'm gonna blink and it's gonna be time to move. I've definitely learned so much about myself in this past year. So thankful for Grant and for my best friends. I would be absolutely falling apart if it wasn't for them. My TED talk is over. I am going to go get ready for bed and edit a little bit and then snooze nighttime routine initiate Whoa. good morning fam happy Thursday, happy Thursday. Today has been a lot more productive than yesterday. I actually got up on time and I made it to the gym, crushed my workout, and that's going to be on my Fitstagram. It's like Instagram, but fit. Um, that's gonna be over there if you guys wanna check that out. I will link it below and all that good stuff. So definitely check it out, give me a follow, send me a DM. Following people's Fitstas or whatever you want to call them is a really great way to come up with new workouts I follow a ton of them and I actually have them all saved in my collections So like I have a collection for back, by, tricep, leg day I have different collections for all of those So then when I'm at the gym and I'm like meh or the night before if I'm planning if I'm feeling super motivated I will actually go through that and get ideas of different workouts Follow me, save in your collection Don't forget to give it a good old thumbs up So I'm about to get de-sweated, get ready for work, and head out. I have coffee brewing. I'm gonna hop in the shower. It's gonna be a great day. Yesterday was not the best day. Um, Today's gonna be a great day. That's what I've decided, literally, just now. I'm back. <laughs> I am ready for work. It is 9.07, so I have to leave in about 10 minutes. Pack up, get my coffee, go to work. Grant's texting me. Hey, boo. Tonight, I am going to do laundry, which I know sounds super, super boring, but what I've noticed is that a lot of people don't know how to properly take care of their gym clothes. I'm gonna show you guys what I do because I have Lululemon pants that I literally bought my freshman year of high school. So that's like four years of high school, four years of college nine years that is nine years and i still own them they are still in great condition so i'm just going to tell you guys little stuff that i do that i think has helped expand the lifetime of my very very expensive leggings because as you all know lululemon leggings are like a hundred dollars a pair i'm not dropping 
you know, a hundred dollars lightly on anything. So we will talk about that tonight, but right now I am headed off to work. I'm gonna pack up my stuff and I will see you guys later tonight when I get back from work. This lighting is like A1. <sighs> Hello, party people. I am back from work. Just another day in the office. I really have to do laundry. So I just wanna show you guys how I take care of my gym clothes so that you can maybe prolong the life of your very expensive leggings. Here we go. <laughs> you, know, you know, lighting is not the best, but we're just, we're going with it. The first thing we're gonna do is just make three piles of all the separate colors, right? Okay, we do this with all of our laundry anyways. This is nothing new. Alright, so this is perfect because this is actually the pair of leggings that I have had for nine years. The first pair of Lululemon leggings that I ever purchased. So like this is like scratched off a little bit, but like you can still see the Omega. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn them inside out. I turn them inside out because I just feel like first of all, if I'm sweating while I'm wearing them, I'm like this is the part that I really want to get washed more. But also, this is on the Lululemon ones, although they've updated, I don't know where one is, but they've updated this material since. But also, on a lot of the Gymshark ones, it also has like Gymshark written in this, I don't even know what to call this. But I feel like they come off less easily if they're washed and set out. All right, all my darks are in set out, so we're gonna go the them in the washer. Here we go. part there is that I don't use anything that's like a fabric softener or anything like that because I feel like that wears down the material. The other important thing is to wash it on like a warm or a cool setting, like warm cool is what I choose. I would not wash any of them in hot water. They can shrink your clothes or they can damage the quality of it. So I think it's just better to put it on like a simple cycle. Don't do like a deep wash if that's even a setting, I don't really know. You just need soap and water. Your clothes are gonna be clean. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna give that an hour to wash and then I'll catch up with you guys afterwards. Next time you see me, I will hopefully have my makeup off and have my PJs on. I am, I am back. The laundry is out and you know what? I flipped some of it into the dryer, but here is the last step on how to make your leggings literally last nine years. Stop putting them in the dryer. If you are putting your athletic wear in the dryer, you are literally cutting the lifespan of that in half. I have this fancy little thing that I think is supposed to hold blankets, but I put my wet laundry on there. I'm going to hang dry all of this. So like I said, super simple. I just put so much stuff on my face trying to get rid of my little zits. So we'll see if that works. So those are just the super simple steps to help elongate the lifetime of your leggings because girl, I know you paid hundred dollars for them. So like, let's make that last, like let's make it worth the money. Also pro tip, I'm not sure about Gymshark or Aloe, but I do know that all Lululemon clothes have a lifetime guarantee. So like one time the inseam of one of my leggings burst open. I just took it back to the store. I told them what happened. I was like, I was just doing my normal workout, wash these when I need to. I don't put them in the dryer. And they gave me a brand new pair for free. Take advantage of that because what a blessing. <laughs> yes, expensive leggings, take care of your workout clothes. Don't use a freaking fabric softener because that is fake news. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my post-grad life and I hope you guys now know how to properly take care of your gym clothes. I'm gonna end the vlog here, hopefully get it up tomorrow, but we'll see. So don't forget to like and subscribe and of course, love the life you lift. Bye guys. <laughs>